So, <laughs> they have some important in the fridge, right? And they lock you up and gone. And you not even realize. Okay, watch, watch, watch. Ready? And they lock you know? You well, well lock up. You can't believe that? <laughs> Hey, my boss will do the watch. What's up, what's up, my flows and my sub. Welcome back to another upload. So right now, my flows and my sub, with no further ado, continue to like, share, subscribe, leave your thoughts and your comments down below. If you don't want to leave a comment, you can leave the flag from the country where you pre this from. So right now, let us get into it. Bartlett, elected chair of the OAS, Inter-America Committee of Tourism. The tourist minister, Edmund Bartlett, has been elected by the acclamation as the new chairman of the organization of the American State Inter-America Committee on Tourism. Bartlett came out ahead of the candidates from Paraguay and Ecuador for the chairmanship. At a meeting on Tuesday, November the 30th, both countries mm -hmm. will now serve as vice chair of the community, the committee, the chair of the OAS, Inter-America Council for Integral Development, Jamaica's ambassador to the U.S. Audrey Marks, congratulate Bartlett on behalf of this member of state. I wish you much success in the work that you will be leading as we begin deliberations to prepare the draft work plan based on the decoration of the Paraguay towards the reconstruction and rebuilding of tourists post the pandemic, she said. Bartlett, in his response, called for all members of states to work together to complete the plan and policy program that they had started. This, he said, would require a greater scenes of innovation as we cannot continue with things as they are. We must now seek to find new way to deal with new disruption that seems destined to follow this pandemic, he added. Bartlett thanked members of state for the confidence placed in him by the way of his election to the chair of the community. He pleaded to be a strong, faithful and vibrant chairman and called for support of each members of state. We have so much to do, and I know the Americans are depending on us to chart the way to victory. Some of you, as I'm a sub, just leave a comment down below. Make you know who want to think about this one, my viewers, I'm a sub. If you want to feel like say, it's a good move, or this is a... We don't know, just leave on the thoughts on the comment. We don't want to say nothing really and spoil the moment. Some of you as I'm a sub, we are depending upon one of leave on the comments down below and make one know, make we know if one feel like say, Mr. Edmund Barclay is the right person for lead the campaign right now as chairman. Some of you as I'm a sub, continue to like, share and subscribe. Bless up. Brother, please, me no me no want nobody feel like say. I have been armed to nobody and I have stopped nobody. Just one for just see me something. So, my son's mother was last year in November. And it was last year, November, I think it was the 15th. Not quite sure. But, um, you know, we had some situation, some disagreement. So, what happened is that um, we had some disagreement concerning the work issue um it can be very straightforward that. very 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 straightforward i read anything else at all you know um so what happened is that you know we had a disagreement and she left left you know after like when i come home from work come home and when i see her 
just gone. I stuffed them gone. My stuff them was there. You never know when they dug up or nothing like that. So it happened. Around it was on a Saturday night. And I came in from work and you know I see. None of our stuff there. Nothing. No. Where were you both living at the time? I was living at um in Independent City. Independent City was living. Our pain is that we have some local the home was a bit in a deplorable state. You know, we come to agreement and say by art and you know, we know a couple of places where a few of them mean used to work. I was here, you know. And set her up on some and she actually have a direct car, you know, tell her who look for and so on. Anyways, she, she do interviews. So what happened is that she went about two two of them and when she did the interviews she she um like tell me say alright then interviews and work out and so on. Then her friends like some of them she said alright then she's supposed to come back from the train. But luckily that I know is that she didn't went back. By when people and called me and say, Oh is it that she don't come? You know. So it, it caused an argument, it started a, a little argument from the end, you know. You know, the whole pandemic thing, it kind of, it frustrating. You know, the first really, because it was really me alone, dealing with everything, which me never mind doing it. So where me was staying, it was not expensive, but she never comfortable there. So we come to argument and say, all right, here what happened? When you start work, we just move out. And then flow through from this one, because we want the best for our child. In my first job. So, I don't know. Just get up on Friday evening, I think it was, on Saturday. Then. I carry my son go. I came stay with my sister. Because she had got up on the, the, the start of the work process. But she never go. I said she never turned that evening. So, my question was always to she, where, where should you go? You know, so from that time, from she realized and find out that it's like she just always have a plan to start an argument. You know, and we can't say this straightforward. A lot of persons are gonna raise and they are gonna ask questions and they are gonna say, "I couldn't that why she got." But I just thought enough people just narrow minded and do all them just think one way. What about fathers who are looking for the best of them child? I mean, never have a father. I mean, no grandfather, grandparents. I grew up with my grandparents. You know? So, if me even find and know where she is right now, me not have anything for either. Right in front of the court, please present her right in front of the court. Make sure talk anything will happen. You understand? Anything at all will happen in a, fact, in a, in a sense where. I can't hide and tell myself so boy, I know I do something wrong. So, I go, I don't go do this and I don't go do that. My heart can't set me free for no sin. I want to see my son and make sure I set him all right. You understand? So, that was basically it because from the first instance from me, my baby mother, she was the quiet type. Quiet type, she didn't argue a lot. You understand? She didn't argue a lot and I didn't say So. The, the fact of the matter is that when it, it, it come down to the part where, you know, me did I earn, I mean, like before the pandemic, I earn and so on, and I was a waiter. Well, I, have, I have my experience with security, you know, stay certified. So, you know, I'm kind of get the security thing a little break and so on, and you know, waiter and experience and mix it, mix all this, you know, mixing experience and a few bars, various bars, and cancer and spring inside. So, go there and give me experience and so on. So, you know, all of that, we also to us art and shall sun and everything. You know, 2019, April the 9th, 2019, So, I kind of just make you relax and do what I'm supposed to do. But when things you start really get hard now, when everybody really still have pressure. When the little pandemic, the little thing kind of start, I will like ease in you know, the last part or so. 
you know the 2020 that about October I'm here set up on it we my target was to move out of that place where I was living since she has left in November have you contacted her and have you gotten in contact with her in any form here are one thing you from her one thing and me here from her the one thing was actually like where the baby have she leave a receipt I see I'm gonna buy a for the child. What else, you know? What else, you know? Why him do up? She was like, um, she don't want me to send the money for the child. So I said, oh, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not working. Oh, you know what I'm saying? The money for the child. I actually have to literally force her to take the money. I have to convince her to take the money. So, where did you meet her to give her that money? How did you send it? Well, to West Union. I asked my brother to send it to because I never have my ID, I lose my ID. And I think some maybe last my idea and I ended up asking. Where did you send the money to do? To do? Where did he yeah, send where the Yeah, where did you send where? the money? Um, to Mandeville. Mandeville? Right. So you suspect that she's in Mandeville? Right. Does she have family in Mandeville that you know about? She has family in Mandeville. Um, at first, the sister and the mother, they are reached out to me. Right. Um, the first time I called her, she, she picked up the phone. That, that the next day when she leave, the day, well, when she leave the Saturday, that, that was the Sunday after, she pick up the phone and said to her, I said, um, where is, where is my son? And I first now, I say, if you have your mother, let me know. And she said, she's not there, mother. But like, she never hung up the phone, so I hear the mother voice in the back room. I said, but me and my mother on the other phone line, I hear you. I talk to your mother. So you need to just put with all them little selfish attitude aside and so just leave my son. And if it is that you want it by yourself, fine, no problem with that. Just need to take care of my son. You understand? So that was just the last time I actually get the ear and actually convince her to take the money. So that was November last year? That was yeah. Alright. So like Has she changed year. her number? No. Does she so have you tried calling her? Tried call her, but you know what now? When she blocked the number, I ended up have a private number. Mm -hmm. So that's the only way to ring. So have you tried, how many times have you tried after that? <laughs> Countless times? Countless times, up to yesterday. Mm -hmm. Countless times. So when you call yesterday, what happened? Went straight to voicemail? Yeah, let me tell you. Today is what? Wednesday. Friday or Saturday. Let me try to call her. It's a call waiting. And that's on a private number. But actually, I feel use other people phone not calling her from a car and cause a phone and I put in like somebody else just to try to get her address so what would you want to tell her if you can send a message to her now hmm? just want to tell me something just want to see me just want him to know so he can see him father and even when him you know when him start school he know he can have something to talk about with him, you know where him father work him father where him father go it's the only thing more. we can have a history. I mean, I'm going to have start of the history. Just want to continue that journey there as, a, as a father. So my viewers, I'm so without no further ado right now. If you want to get to know delivery quick and fast right now, I want to know check out the delivery service. Yeah. Dash Express right now. Based in Portmore. So all of my viewers, them are there in Portmore. We want them food to deliver quick and fast. I want to check out the delivery. Yeah. Dash Express, right and number for us, my son. Right down the number, call him right now. Him deliver Kingston, Portmore, Spanish Town, Saint Catching. Right now, my viewers, I'm a sub. So right now, quick and fast. Mo want to no check out that delivery carrier service personally. Yeah, man, big up on yourself, man. So if you no want to no delivery done quick and fast, and not no dash way, no stunt riding. Want to check out that delivery service, yeah. The number. 327 0075 Dash Express. Quick and fast. Big up on yourself.